the federal government has described as illegal. The newly launched Southwest Security Outfit, codenamed Amotekun, the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami San, who is the Chief Law Officer, said security remains the exclusive preserve of the federal government. In a statement signed by the Special Advisor to the AGF on Media and Public Relations, Dr. Umar Gwadu, the AGF stated that the outfit is illegal. According to the statement, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 1999, as amended, has established the Army, Navy and Air Force, including the police and other numerous paramilitary organizations for the purpose of the defense of Nigeria. As a consequence of this, no state government, whether singly or in a group, has the legal rights and competence to establish any form of organization or agency for the defense of Nigeria or any of its constituent parts. This is sanctioned by the provision of item 45 of the second schedule of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, authorizing the police and other federal government security services established by law to maintain law and order. Joining us live in the studio is journalist uh, Dikbo Olayokun. Thank you very much for staying with us. Thank you. Why is this coming at this time, days after the inauguration? Shouldn't this have been done before now, as against allowing the inauguration and then the statement being issued by the federal government? I, I think the co question should be posed at the government because they are the one who has taken this action. This project was announced over six months ago after a meeting involving the governors of the Southwest, the six governors, and the IGP. In the wake of rising then, what they call rising uh, crime rates, banditry, kidnapping, armed robbery, and it at a climax with the killing of the Afghan leader, uh, the daughter of the Afghan leader, that's uh, late uh, Olakwani. And it was at that meeting that the law, uh, they all agreed there was a need for the state governments to complement the efforts of the federal government in the area of securing the area. And they went into post operation, into action rather, mandating what they call the technical wing of the Yoruba group. That's what they call DON, Development Agenda for Western Nigeria. It's like a think tank group to come up with a framework that will be able to meet the yearnings and aspirations of Nigerian Yoruba people, Southwest people in the area of security. And this thing, the date for the, and they went into a lot of processes in recruiting people, buying vehicles, and stuff like that. I never heard that they were buying ammunition. And even on the day that this thing was launched, we saw vehicles. And one would have expected that the federal government would have made a statement over this period. You see, at times, there are some statements you make, and then there are some what we call the mode of making that statements, the process, the channel. Uh, to my own understanding, I think uh, this is a very wrong way of putting this across. It will have come in a way that people will understand. If you have listened to uh, commentaries and comments in the past few days, people have hammered so much on the area of the exclusive right of the federal government. But interestingly, I don't think there's any state in Nigeria that is not buying vehicles, that is not buying, even in Lagos, they were buying uh, speedboats. Even what do you call it, helicopter. And the, the, and the federal government didn't saw, remember. The, the argument, as you saw, uh, as we read earlier, is the fact that they are not allowed to constitute any sort of organization or operation. And this uh, Amote who seemed to have a name, leadership. Um, uh, there is a consensus on how you know it should be operated uh, and it, all of that. It is unfortunate that the government is every day giving vent to the feelings of some Nigerians that some people are more equal than the others. In the Northeast, not only in the Northeast where we have Boko Haram apart from the civilian JTF, in the Northwest, even in the Northeast, we have a group they call the Hishpa. It's a security outfit. Many of these guys carry gone. In 2014, I was in Anambra. That's why some of these things, at times, like people will say, the more you look, is the less you see. In 2014, we were in Anambra for a meeting, and we stayed in one hotel in Oka. 
Well, I discovered that the guys that were manning the security in that hotel, they were carrying guns, they were wearing uniforms. They called them an umbrella vigilante service. These guys, these guys they provided security for us in that place. And those people told us that there was a time that it was very difficult for you to go to Anambra without going with police escort. And these guys, since their formation, establishment of date AVS, they have been able to stabilize that area and reduce the activities of criminals. There was an event I was going to in Enugu. Uh, for rather, I was going for an event in Enugu. I had to leave very dangerously overnight, to travel overnight, because I needed to be in Enugu by 8 o'clock the following day. I traveled overnight. I dropped at Tunisia around 5 o'clock. These guys were everywhere. And they were telling us that if not for the activities of these boys, you drop at Tunisia around 5 o'clock in the morning, you're as good as dead. That is, if, 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 apart from if you're able to survive, then you will know that your goods or whatever you are carrying has gone. L but since those guys came on board, all these things have stopped. So, at times, some of these governments, we don't understand their operations. Let, let me interject and ask this question. If the, if the, I'm, I'm just speaking from the very layman position now. If the president is the chief security officer of the country, doesn't it follow that the state governors are the chief security officers for their respective states? If, if the, by this statement, the federal government is saying they don't um, have the mandate to be doing what they just did, what input do they have in the security of this country? They're not allowed That's a, to do. That is a very brilliant question that should have been. I wish the Minister for the Justice were to be here <laughs> with us. Because it, it, I, I see this setup, I mean the establishment of this Amotekun, as a way of complementing the efforts of the government. When the current president came on board, the average strength, that is the personnel of the Nigerian police, let us remove the force there. It's less than 300,000. And though we, I think since he came in, they have employed about 30 or 20, let us say 330,000 to 200 million people. What does the United Nations uh, say about security? I think it's one, it's one to 600 policemen. If so, if you have states that are now complementing the efforts of government, because it, it has been shown clearly that the current security architecture that we have in Nigeria is very lacking, is very inadequate, and is very inefficient. What do you see, what do you expect in the next, uh, in the coming days? This is very discouraging and is very disheartening. Even people that will have, because this state government, this government will have spent their money to fund this amount of They, according to the governors, they, they have been saying, they have said it repeatedly, these guys will not carry arms. Their aim is just to be like neighborhood vigilante guys. You know the people that are living with you. If any stranger comes to join you, you will know. Do then you, you go see and the inform the police. Speaking out against this statement by the federal government or just dismantling. Even if they speak out, there's something they can do. Because we operate a present system of government that makes the president to be that very, very powerful. If you look at the constitution of Nigeria from the beginning to the end, a Nigerian president domestically is about the most powerful president in the whole world. So perhaps there's nothing the governors can do. I only pity the people of Southwest. I even pity the people of Nigeria because other states, other regions will have followed suit. I, you had the uh, governor Umay of our uh, buying saying that they also will come up with their own. Well, it's a pity. Thank you very much, sir, for your thoughts. You're welcome, my brother.